Hi everyone, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and I have a lot of new jars of Jacquard acid dyes that I need to open up. 40 jars to be exact, which is the complete color range of the Jacquard acid dyes. When you open up each of these jars, you can see that they're, they are sealed. And so I thought that it could be fun to leave no dye behind and take the dye that is on these seals and use it to sort of tap on to a skein of yarn that will pre-soak with vinegar to then dye one skein with all 40 colors. Clearly there is going to be some residue, probably not a ton. I expect the final yarn will be mostly white, but I thought that this would be a fun thing to do uh, and to make opening all of this just a little more fun. <laughs> I will be doing this as a time lapse. I plan to go and swatch all of these colors in a live stream to get a sense of how all the different blues relate to one another, etc., uh, at a different time. And in fact, that video probably will come out before this one. I am pre soaking the yarn in some tap water with three tablespoons of white vinegar for an unspecified amount of time. Uh, I'm not going to worry about doing a full 20 to 30 minutes, but it could end up being that long before I get started. Whenever I dye yarn with acid dyes or any other kind of dye powder, I will always wear a respirator or some kind of face mask, safety goggles, and gloves. All right, let's go for the first one, which is crimson. And I'm pulling off the lid, and actually that's not a tiny amount of pigment. I did sort of wring out uh, the excess water in here, but I'm just going to place that lid down, press, and you can see we got most of the color off. There might still be a little bit on there, but I'm focusing on uh, most and not all. Here's hot fuchsia. I am going to need to flip this at some point. Okay, the hot fuchsia has a lot less pigment on the lid, but oh wow, that was just a stamp. There's a lot of pigment in that one. Oh, this is going to be really, really fun. I can already tell. <laughs> um, yeah, some look like there's not a lot of pigment, and that one maybe, because the second time, what color was this one? This was vermilion, uh, so not a lot of pigment, but anyway, I am going to speed this up and go through the other 37 colors, and then I'll come back. I did not keep track of the colors as I was going through, but we have a lot of different hues all over our yarn, and I'm really excited. Now I want to place the yarn in my dedicated dye pot steamer basket, and I am going to steam this for 30 minutes. I did add on that nylon zip tie you see so that way I can easily pick up and move it around. But I'm really excited to see how this turns out. 
The 30 minutes are up and ooh, check out this yarn. Ooh, these colors are great. Um, I'm gonna set this aside to cool completely in just this aluminum pan. But I also wanted to take a look inside the pot. I don't see a lot of dye on the steamer basket at the moment. And if I lift it up, there's maybe the tiniest hint of color in that steam water down below. Which means that the majority of the color we use today is in our yarn. Woohoo! Okay, let's wash this hand painted yarn that has all 40 colors of the Jacquard as a dye. Um, it has not been in any kind of immersion yet. The water I just felt it in is a little warm. And I don't see any bleeding. There is some color on this pan. Let's put on some fish soap. Uh, yeah, this is in the yarn. So I'm going to finish washing it. And then, I can tell there's a hint of blue. I did use green just so instead of clear. Um, the yarn looks pretty clear. I love that it's rainbowy without being like super obvious. Oof, I'm I'm a fan. All right, I'm gonna go finish rinsing this. We got all that soap, and then I'm gonna put it through my spin dryer, hang it up to dry, and we'll come back with some conclusions. This yarn is amazing. I'm not sure if my eye really picks up that there are 40 distinct colors on here. Certainly some colors were more pigmented, others might have been a little less pigmented. Some colors had some fallout, and so you can see we've got some random speckles around from where some of the powder fell off the lid before I placed it on. But this is just so fun. I love that I was able to incorporate so many colors into a single skein of yarn. I would like to give a huge thank you to Dyer Supplier for sending me the complete set of Jacquard Acid Dyes to play around with. I am thrilled that there is so much white left behind. It's possible that there could have been too much dye in spots and then it could have spread out, but we've got this fun, fun, definitely non-repeating, definitely asymmetric skein. And I think you could still do socks with it. They'd be sister socks, but oh, I think that it would be really, really fun. What would you like to create with this yarn? Let me know in the comments. My only disappointment is that all the lids are off the jars, and so I cannot do this in exactly the same way again. I mean, yes, I can create more colorways using all 40 colors. You know, I can dip like a brush or a spoon into each of the jars, but I would either need 40 spoons or something so that way it contaminate the different colors. Um, this is really one of a kind, and I know that my attempts to do something similar won't come out quite the same way. Things would probably end up being significantly more pigmented. And honestly, I just love, love, love how this turned out. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, like, turn on notifications, and if you're a huge fan of Chemnitz, go and check out the Chemnitz Patreon. If you sign up before the end of June, you will be eligible for all of the July perks, which include things like early access to new content, Etsy coupons, and even shout outs in videos. You can find links in the video description and iCard. Thank you so much for watching everyone.